So heading out, um, good way now towards Nahara. Uh, there's a couple of villages you can go part through, um, take alternative routes, but um, one Ventoso, I think one's called. Um, but I'm just kind of taking a direct route, but um, really good views today, long distance, see a long way, long, long way. So a little pilgrim rest area um, just outside Ventosa and yeah just been following the uh, Altavia and I don't know about seven more kilometers to Nakara and yeah the sun's coming out now so it's starting to feel quite warm <laughs> it's quite cool earlier but um, yeah it's forecast 29 today so it should be quite warm. long long way kind of forget how great the views are on the on the French way uh, really does surpass anything on the anywhere in Portugal the two Portuguese ways I've done and the um, Seville route Via del Plata um, you know all very nice in their own way but yeah the French way definitely has some jaw-dropping views. I think Nahera is kind of straight down there beyond that kind of, um, yeah. And it's not too hot, probably looks really hot, but it's actually, it's bearable today. <laughs> And there goes the sun. My friend and my foe. <laughs> now it's been um, much cooler the last couple of days, but I have a rather nice camp spot here, up on a ridge. So Nahera is kind of through the trees there, just like a kilometre away. Um, the Camino's down there, the white track, right um, down by the trees, and it goes over there, and then um, there's a village over there called Al Faza. <laughs> I think it's the next place after Nakara. Uh, that's where I'll probably be having breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> They're definitely uh, one of the nicest pairs of shoes I've seen hanging up. <laughs> Plenty of tread left on them. I think they're Solomon's as well. Wow. <laughs> like mine. Okay, heading today to Santo Domingo del Calzada. So on my way to um, Santa Domingo del Casada, just had a bit of a climb up there and um, yeah, I've not really seen many pilgrims today because I left a bit later. Uh, there's a couple of guys behind me. I did see a few people way out ahead, so maybe I'll get uh, near them at some point. But um, yeah, pretty hot today, but not nowhere like it was a few days ago <laughs> anyway hopefully you find somewhere for lunch soon so just leaving uh serena uh that guy just waved at me yeah uh there's l l hardly anything there there's a golf course and they do have a bar and a restaurant to be fair um i think there's also a bar like off the camino up that hill but I seem to remember maybe going there when I did this before, but um, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on here, but it's only six kilometers from uh, Santo Domingo, and uh, there's a couple of water fountains, so 
onwards into the very yellow landscape. <laughs> Classic views of the French Camino looking towards Santo Domingo and a few peregrinos ahead. Slowly catching them all now, the ones that left earlier. <laughs> the stragglers I'm catching. So I'm about five kilometers outside of Santo Domingo now, and um, there's the town or village of. Grañón, very popular stop on the Camino. And yeah, heading to Belarado today. And yeah, we'll be camping tonight. It's a little overcast today, but um, I think it's gonna be sunny later, so. So that's La Rioja <laughs> behind me now, entering Castilla y Leon. And uh, some good info here. In the Provincia de Burgos. And uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> that was the end of a very long, straight piece of um, Camino <laughs> next to the, the busy road here. So, yeah, just about a couple of kilometers outside uh, Belarado and uh, looking forward to getting there and, yeah, checking it out. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back. I found a camp spot and you know it's actually looks like a really good spot from one side you've got a river there and um a nice kind of flat grass bit but then you look up there and there's a, a busy road and a public park <laughs> over there so it's really not ideal at all but it's kind of getting desperate and there's no albergues left and that park's really lit up now so luckily this part isn't so I should be okay here. I think most people have kind of gone now, but um, hey, it's what it is. I'll get up early tomorrow. No one will know I'm here, hopefully. <laughs> All part of the fun. So 46 kilometers to uh, Borgas. And uh, yeah, <laughs> basically nice mural written on the uh, drawn on the side of this building though. <laughs> really cool. Okay, so it uh, looks like I've got a bit of a hill to climb in a moment. So just leaving Atapueca now and uh, made very famous for the human remains and the archaeological site. Um, there's an awesome little shop there, little tienda, and they just, they sold things like ready boiled eggs and things like that, just really cool. So I'm heading now, to uh, find somewhere to stay, camp, kind of somewhere up there, and then Borgos is basically over that hill. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> Hopefully not near that rooster. <laughs> So I have a pretty good spot for tonight. Uh, not far from Borgos, on a kind of hill just outside. And yeah, the ground's really rocky, but I found a, a grassy spot there. And um, it was super windy before, but you probably hear a bit now, but um, it's nothing like it was. So hopefully I won't get blown away in the night. <laughs> yeah, about 16 kilometers from Borgos, so I'll be there tomorrow and uh, hopefully get a place in the uh, municipal alberg. Buenos dias. So there ahead is Borgos 
and I'm kind of in a bit of a hurry to get there today because there's only one Alberg, the main one, and I think they're running half capacity and there's a lot of people I think going to be wanting to stay there so I want to try and get there before it opens at midday. Uh, very cold this morning when I woke up, the tent's still very wet um, from condensation but um, hopefully I'll be in a bed tonight in the Alberg. Thanks for watching and uh, would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe. See you on the next one.